Hi, my name is Morten Lacour. Welcome to this short video showing how we can expose on-premise SQL Server data in the cloud using Microsoft Azure. So if we go to my local machine here and my local SQL Server, I've made a database called Test. And I'm going to create a new table called My Demo Items. And just to show we're not cheating, I'm actually going to invent a new column here called, let's call it Description. And just include that in my table. And I'm going to insert a few rows here with some items in it. You can see I have a calendar, I have some paper clips, and we will include this description here in the insert statement, which is after item name. That means we have to put it here, right? I'm just going to write whatever. And We'll do the same here. So without further ado, let's try and run this. Okay, two rows were inserted into my table. Now, just pay, let's have a look here. So my database uh, is called test and it's residing on my local machine called WIM IE5 blah 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 blah. So if I go to my Azure portal, you can see that I've already set up an on-premise gateway called MLC 2017 server that is pointing to my local server, uh, being exposed by a local service called PBI gateway service or on-premise data gateway service. You can see here that it is running, it is live. And uh, if you take a look at my API connections, you will see that I've already set up, I'm just going to search for SQL here. I've already set up a, um, just waiting for the display name to load. Right here, I believe. Yes, you can see I've made a new SQL API connection called uh, MLC SQL Server 2017. And if we have a look at the uh, properties, or the connection properties here rather, sorry. You can actually see that I've already entered my credentials. They're not showing right now because they're credentials. I've already uh, specified the SQL Server name and I've already specified the database name. So everything is sort of set up, ready to run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and make a new Logic App. Just call it video demo, I guess. And I'm going to choose an existing resource group, my own resource group here. Just going to keep North Europe as the location. And it just takes a second or two to um, deploy and provision this new logic app. And I'm pretty sure that it's already there. So if I just search for video demo, here we are. Now the first time we go into uh, a new logic app, we will need to specify what trigger we want to, uh, to start the logic app. And in our case, we're just going to have an HTTP trigger saying, hey, if anybody come ask for these products that we have on premise, uh, just give it to them. And, and, and because of that, I'm actually going to um, just save this guy here. And I'm going to choose get instead of post, which is the default, simply because, you know, we're not supplying any parameters for this particular call. We just want to get all products whenever this is called. And I'm going to choose a response here. So for now, let's just write hello world or something in the response just to test that everything is up and running. I'll get to actually connecting to the local SQL server in just a second. So as you can see up here, now the logic app is, safe, is saved, completed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Postman here and I'm going to get the URL, which is not very nice, this URL, but in a later video, I will show you how to wrap that more nicely using APIs management, also in Azure. But if I just call a get from this particular address, 
that I just copied, you can see I get back a hello world. So far, so good. So that's definitely working. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a SQL Server action in between my request and my response. So I'm going to choose SQL Server here and I'm just going to get the action called get rows which will just get all rows. So we'll just do a select of all rows. Of course, if we were to specify, you know, a specific product, we would choose this get row singular instead of this get rows plural. But let's just for now choose that one. And as you can see, it's already suggesting me because I've already made uh, an API connection to my local SQL Server earlier. So it's already suggesting that I use this uh, called MLC SQL Server 2017. Now, in case I wanted a no either a new connection or another already created connection, I would just change the connection here. But as you can see, if I try to expand this table, my demo items, which was the name that I just created earlier, sorry, wrong slide here. Uh, right here, right? My demo items. So I just choose my demo items. And all I need to do now is say in the response body, I just want the list of items that was created from my previous action here. And if I save that and try and run it in Postman again, you see I get all of my data. And you can see even my new column that I created earlier called description, whatever, whatever is there. Now let's just, so that you're 100% sure I'm not cheating, let's just try and insert paper clips one more time. So now the data should contain three rows instead of two. And if I try and hit send again, you can see that we now get three rows instead of two. So that's all it takes to uh, expose your uh, on-prem data. In the, in the cloud, using it in Azure. Now, in this case, I simply created a service uh, just to expose you know, our company's product data. But of course, this could also just be used inside an existing Azure flow, inside a Logic App saying, hey, at some point, I need to retrieve some sort of data uh, from our on-premise database and use it onwards in our flow. So um, that's very easy. And uh, this uh, on-premise connector that we're, or on-premise gateway rather that we're using can be used both for accessing a SQL database, an Oracle, on-premise web services, and even on-premise file locations, file folders, both for receive and sending files. So um, that's, uh, that's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty uh, nice thing to have. Also, when we uh, think in terms of a hybrid solution, and maybe even in terms of uh, you know creating uh, creating your Azure environment instead of, for instance, BizTalk. If you are getting rid of BizTalks and moving into Azure, these on-prem gateways can help us uh, in the in the situations where we haven't uh, yet you know gotten all of our resources in the cloud. Okay, thank you for watching.